Well, you can guess my ethnicity. Guatemalan. Filipino. Guatemalan. Filipino. But I feel like all the skin representation it took, like Baby Tron, he took advantage of that bitch. He a pop star. I'm not gonna act yeah. like he not. The nigga getting 30,000 views, 40,000 views. He doing successful. But at the same time, I ain't gonna try to sound like no hater. I feel like it's cause he a different race too though. You get what I'm saying? So motherfuckers embrace different races, bro. Well, he right, called okay. you white. And I was like, I don't know about yeah, that. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. That's just the appearance that, that's in the right. thumbnail okay, type all right, shit. All right. hey. Ha, <laughs> fucking stupid ass, dumb ass, retarded. Today we'll be talking about scam rapper Baby Tron. Who is Baby Tron? <laughs> this bitch a demon, how she arched up. Damn. Take them shoes off her feet and throw them far as fuck. <laughs> Baby Tron is 22 years old from Ypsilanti, Michigan, which is 20 minutes away from Detroit, Michigan. Baby Tron can rap. Bro, masked up with two sticks like he did fool. Trying to fight who? Fight the roaches in your bedroom. When did he start his music career? He started his music career when he was 16 years old with the help of his close friend, Stan Will. Back to Stan. Stan had, shout out Stan, he had a fucking mic in his closet. We went to high school together and shit. After forming a friendship, rapping and playing basketball, they met TRD, which they all later formed Shitty Boys. Here's a picture of the Shitty Boys group. Was the idea always for it to be Shitty Boys as a group from the beginning? Yeah, we always been locked in for sure. Mm. From, the, from the jump, like my very first videos was with them. Right. My very first videos I dropped on the hip hop lab. Shout out Lando. Shout out Lando. It was a Shitty Boys video. I got signed to Lando off a Shitty Boys video. So, like, all my original work was for sure with Shitty Boys, for sure. We still working, like, we working on a new album right now. Is that Dicey, though? He only signed to you, not the whole group? No. No, they happy for me. Okay. Type shit. We, we all working towards the same goals. Like, we don't let that shit get in between us or nothing. If you are OG supporter of Babytron, you know it's a bunch of archived music that Stan Will has on his YouTube page. Release the music, Stan Will. Babytron is best known for popular songs like Bitch, I probably switch for the guy that these hoes fake. Bay put he on, grab the chopstick and go A. Roof Chris dinner paid three shits for four days. And all for real, with the dinners when I dine out. Real grind, two, four, seven, ain't no time out. I was in a hole, but then I found a way to climb out. Feel like Goldberg, I slammed the bitch and blew her spine out. I would never argue with a bot. LMAO, LOL, you're a fucking bot. Bitch, why you put your panties down? I'm only coming top. Hey, shitty boy. Surprise. Oh, boy. Habibi firebombing got a missile to. If them robbers come through, then I guarantee they give it a lifestyle huge. This basic bitch, she in the little stuff. Mike Amiri, Cody Goose, I think the sneeze from Europe. Pine the and ain't no Aunt Jemima when we drink it, sir. I don't need a pee to turn up, slide on sober mug. Spent 12 in the big stuff. You that one guy the hoes used to rate love. You that one guy that blew an eyes take love. Let a bitch ask for something, I'ma say no. Let him try to pass the wood, I'ma say no. You ain't never seen the Drake with the A chord. Let's analyze his growth before we get into the juicy information. Babytron has over 1 million monthly visitors on Spotify. Quick note, we will be analyzing Babytron and Chitty Boy's growth using YouTube views and Genius Albums platform. This will highlight Babytron and Chitty Boy's consistent growth throughout the years. Stats will be based on the highest viewed audio clips and music videos. Babytron dropped seven albums throughout his rap career. Back to the Future album has over 1.9 million streams on YouTube. Ben Reaper has 3.2 million 113,000 streams on YouTube. Sleeve Nash has 818,266 streams. Luca Chantrick has over 4 million streams on YouTube. Ben Reaper 2 has over 5.5 million streams on YouTube. Megatron has over 7.5 million streams on YouTube. With all these albums combined, his streams reach over 22,313,865 streams. Shitty Boys, which is a group collaborated on six albums, three Pete with over 2 million views, Just Because with over 863,000 streams on YouTube, New Year New Scam has over 1 million streams on YouTube, 4 Pete 
with over 482,000 streams on YouTube. Trifecta has 384,000 streams. And Trifecta 2 has over 1.2 million streams on YouTube. The Shitty Boys group have a combined streams of at least 7.3 million streams on YouTube. Shitty Boys have a monthly viewers of 163,961 monthly listeners. This is crazy and it's only getting bigger. Damn, Baby Tron did it. That man did it. For sure. I'm already applying heavy pressure, but it's just gonna get heavier and it's gonna be for a long ass time. Be ready. So in five years, I ain't gonna be nowhere but shit bigger than I am now. Babytron did get signed by the Hip Hop Lab. Shout out to Lando for putting on the city of Detroit. The Hip Hop Lab did sign Shitty Boys as well as an extension from Babytron getting signed by Empire Records, as you can see here. We can all definitely agree that Babytron versatility allowed him to make it to XXL coming from rapping about scamming grandmas. Rock, leaving out your grannies, took a credit card in Butterscotch. He has the lyrics and people can relate to him too. And the bars you can use on your Instagram captions. I loved you for you, it was me I hate. I hate yeah, I used to have trust, let my demons let take. I promise this is your spot. It is. No, I'm skinny, but my heart weighs a whole lot. Got your back, cause you always been my vertebrae. Got a spot forever, girl, swear that you earned your place. I did. Scared I'll be a juice world, having lucid dreams. Crazy. Image theory. This is all entertainment and assumption, but hear me out and let me know your personal opinions in the comments. We all know that Baby Tron got the sensational Wow Factor lyrics, which there are numerous credible articles highlighting his bars. But I think Image played a big role in Tron's crazy leap into the music industry and even getting to XXL. Note, we are talking genre specific. Okay, now it's a couple of things we have to consider to make this theory true. If Babytron scammed his way into the music industry. Now, number one, the Detroit rap scene genres. Two, TJX6 being overlooked. Now, we will be comparing the two because music, numbers, they all correlate to competition. So, again, this is no hating here. And competition is in the music industry. It's all about numbers. First, the Detroit rap scene genre. First, let's define what genre means. Genre means a category of artistic composition as in music or literature characterized by similarities in form, also style. Now we know a lot of rappers who was hot upcoming rappers around the Detroit area. Let's keep the time around 2014 throughout 2022 and they're in a different genre. These are the only rappers throughout 2014, 2022 that rapped about scam in Detroit. So these are all the only people I really know that was really popping throughout this time. If y'all know some other people, let me know. Who do you think would be a good fit to represent these rappers that go mainstream from Detroit rapping about scams? Really think about it. Out of all these different people and rap groups, who is a great example to represent going mainstream rapping about scams. I hope you thought TJX6. <laughs> Baby Tron, of course. Why? First of all, Bang Gang indicted rapping about scams. Self Made Cash indicted rapping about scams. For some reason, when Tron raps about, about scams, the supporters love it. Big businesses looked at Baby Tron because he had the image people are looking for. Pablo Skywalker has a great example of explaining this. Like Baby Tron, is, he got a black father though. But I'm saying he could have a black mama. He don't look black. <laughs> <laughs> he could have a black ass grandma. Grandma could be blacker than you and me. I'm just seeing how the world is, not me. The world, bro, they perceive yeah. certain shit. He got long uh -huh. hair. Certain shit, bro, people catch on to it. Look at like an OGZ, bro. That's why they catch yep. on to certain motherfuckers since they image, my nigga. Look at Cash and Quan, like I said, bro, he been doing this shit way before Baby Tron. Why haven't he surpassed that type of shit? It's sometimes it's your image, bro. That's like if I was in this bitch Chinese nigga with 10 niggas with choppers. Nigga, I'd be the coolest Chinese motherfucker in America. 
Yeah. When you want to market a rapper, corporations figure out if you're good for business and your market ability. Rapping about drugs and their crime against each other is highly favored in a rap game. Just go check the demographic of hip hop artists in a depth scale. Now, I would say I agree, the image definitely does play a role into this. But first, we have to analyze TJX6, right? They let TJX6 run for a little. Dark Web hits 5 million views currently. He gets signed by Atlantic Records. He gets featured on the HBO documentary. Adam22 features him on the interview a bunch of times, but that wasn't enough. As he was seen, not good for business. And myself to a record deal for 10 million. For Babytron, of course it took grinding, but really pinpoint the image here. It took grind, yes. Adam22 interviews with him and the shitty boys, right? A lyric lemonade video from Cole Bennett, which he's locked in, connected now. Do you guys think it was image that played a role into his success or it was strictly the hustle? We do not care. Um, yeah, man, Dex Clan TV, and I'm out. I used to protect yourself from scammers. It, I remember a time, man, 2019, everybody was getting scammed, man. And we came to save you guys. We helped you get to the correct stuff so you can educate yourself for educational purposes only. So we collect these methods from the deep web. Y'all see all these methods collected right here well, that we got so far on the site, man. Um, we got a lot of stuff coming on here, man. You guys go check it out. We got a bunch of stuff coming. You guys can also sign up to become a vendor to sell educational methods as well. We got disclaimers behind every single method. And these methods is all from 2022 because we just run a 2022 site the other day. So um, I've got some people that actually purchased the courses. I appreciate y'all. I can't believe people actually bought the courses. So I'm going to go share show y'all the screen where we got some customers. We got some buyers, man. We got some people actually checking out the site. Credits to the most high. We appreciate. God is good. God is great. But yeah, man. We got people actually buying from the site. And um, here's just a couple of people that purchased so far. I'll of course, blur out you guys' name. But uh, you know, we got we actually got a lot of buyers, man. We got we got a lot of people checking out. And and I got a video coming on the way, man. I know you haven't seen my face in a minute, but yeah, man. Uh, basically, I'm be going breaking breaking down a journey, breaking down, just really getting real raw, uncut with you guys. But uh, yeah, man. Thanks for TV. And um.